It's time for our first away trip. This weekend we're playing our first two on the road matches. First up was Stanford on Friday, who has consistently been a top 20 team over the years and has had many great players. So we flew over to Palo Alto and after a day of practice and getting ready, it was match day. In doubles I went back to my typical result, where my match was unfinished. We stopped at 5-4, riders were about to surf for the match. We collected a pair of 6-4 wins on court 1 and on court 2. In singles, my opponent on court 4 was Kyle Kang. He was one of my strongest opponents I faced yet this season, as he has an ATP ranking of 680 and a UTR of 13.32. He was also a very successful junior, having played all the Grand Slams multiple times. He was a very offensive player, had a big serve and a big forehand. It made you run around a lot if you didn't take the point in your own hands from the start. We started off holding serve the first three games, and I was really looking to take control of the point early like I do here. I knew it was the key, because letting him dictate would only lead to me running around a whole lot. It wasn't easy though as he was a very good server. At 2-1 I get a look at a potential break here as I get the 30-0, however he builds the point perfectly with his wide serve, inside out forehand and a put away volley. At 2-0 I play a poor game with too many mistakes and at 15-40 he hits his net strap off the forehand, which was very unfortunate, giving him the 3-2 lead. It was really tough when he came forward, he did not make many mistakes and forced you to take a great shot to win the point. However, speaking of great shots, at 30-15 I hit this great passing shot in my back and to put some pressure on him. However, he aces me twice the following points, so I'm now down 4-2. Again, another point here played at 15-love, where you can see how if I wasn't playing a good enough shot that he couldn't get to, I was always risking him to flip the point like he does here. I'm able to go up 40-30 in that game, so I knew I had to be tough and hold, as I desperately needed to keep the score close to eventually go back even with a break. After this first passing shot line, I get to the second ball and get a great hold, which is crucial. The next game I was again trying to follow my game plan and be aggressive to get him on the run. And on the first point, I hit this great inside in winner. We both hold serve and I am now 5-4 down, leaving him to serve it out. I get to 15-30 and really had to scramble this point to try and get him to give in. And eventually he misses his volley, leaving me 3 break points. After saving the first one, I make a decent return and he misses his inside out forehand to make it 5-0. I could feel the momentum shift, and after holding at 5 all, I was giving it all every point to put some scoreboard pressure on him, and after winning this point, I'm able to get the 30 all. Whenever he made a big first serve like he did here, I knew the priority was depth, and stayed tough until I was able to get to at least a neutral position in the rally. We exchange a couple of forehands here, and just when I was starting to get slightly behind in the point, he misses his inside out by an inch or two, giving me two set points. The first set point was enough, as I hit the return a bit short, but it touches the nest strap, which throws him off and he hits his forehand deep. So I took the first set, 7-5. The start of the second set is crucial in any match, and here I find myself two break points down in the first game. After coming forward, it takes me not one, not two, but three volleys to make it to deuce. This deuce point I was trying to break him down with a forehand cross court. As you can see here, we both go pretty hard on the diagonal, hoping he would hit a bit short at some point. That didn't really happen, so eventually I switched line, and he hits this tricky slice cross, leaving me to hit one myself. But his approach isn't great, and gives me a chance to pass him with inside in, avoiding a horrible start to the second set. He holds easily to go 1-1, and again, I'm a break point down. And here I completely shanked this sitter forehand, which did cost me quite a lot, as I was again down a break. After a hold each, we're 3-2, and I was really struggling to do damage on his serve. But I wasn't ready to give up yet. I play a pretty good point here, where I force him to hit a low back and volley and then pass him line on the next ball. He was still 30-15, but I knew if I could get this point I would have a chance to maybe get some break points and get him maybe to feel his nerves a bit more. In complete defense mode, I pass him line on the run with this forehand that just clips the sideline. But that turned out to be not enough as he won the next two points to hold. Although I started making more mistakes, I knew that when I was able to be in control of the point he couldn't do much. As you can see here, I'm able to get him on the run with my forehand and then closing the point with the overhead. He also started to do this kick wide and four into the other side much more, which I couldn't really find a proper answer to. At 5-4, 40 love, he hits a good first serve and this rocket inside out, which I could only watch. It was one set all. Now. The third set started with some tough points. At this moment, I was struggling to flip points from defense to attack, and I was also tired from all the scrambling I had to do the past two sets. This rally here is how a lot of the points the third set went, where I'm kind of just running around trying to hold my ground and playing deep, but he's always able to maintain control and eventually I give him a forced error. He also added the short angle inside out ball, which I was always on the reach on and helped him come forward without too much trouble or having to hit a crazy good shot. Needless to say I get broken and find myself down 2-1. At this point he's playing with the arm very loose and I'm just trying to do the best I can to make every ball 
But as you can see here, I just can't get to every shot like I could in the first set. He was absolutely going all out with the forehand, not even sure how I made this ball back here. But I get broken again and go down 5-2. I put my fighting gloves on one last time and get the 30 all. And just when I thought he missed his forehand, I get the worst overrule of all time. This ball was so clearly out and even slow. But completely got me nowhere and it was match point for him. A good first serve to the body and an inside out at the speed of light which was absolutely ridiculous. So the final score was 5-7, 6-4, 6-2. My loss added to the team beatdown as we lost all singles matches and therefore only held on to the doubles point. Overall, I think I played good tennis for one and a half sets. However, my fitness wasn't great in the third and that's where I think that the difference was. But I also give credit to him as well for playing excellent tennis and putting pressure on me at all times. As a player and as a team, we definitely have a lot of room to improve, but luckily we had Sunday's match against Cal lined up to turn the week around.